So last week a tragedy happened. Alec Baldwin shot and killed a cinematographer named Helena Hutchins on the set of his new Western movie. Now this was a tragic, tragic accident. Um, a lot of stuff about what exactly transpired on set would come out. But one thing is for sure, that conservatives' reaction to this tragedy has just been completely awful. Conservatives, look, we, we gotta do better than this, all right? And so when I talk about our response to it, I talk about, you know, jokes about Alec Baldwin, things that he said in the past, all of that other stuff, even some people that are elected public officials sort of getting in on the game on Twitter. And look, I don't care about Alec Baldwin because this is not about Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin is a terrible, terrible individual and a terrible, terrible human being. This person um, has gotten into scuffles with photographers. He's used the F word. Not only um, that, but he has so much to say about Trump and MAGA supporters. God, he called us uh, maggots. He called anybody that voted for Donald Trump, you know, any of the people were evil, were dog crap, were all of these other things. That doesn't matter because here's the thing. We know that Alec Baldwin is a horrible person. We know that he's an awful person. In fact, we know that if the shoe was on the other foot, the left would gleefully dance on the grave of any conservative um, that was involved in such a tragedy like this. So I think of, say for example, if it were Christy Swanson and let's say um, Stephen Baldwin or Antonio Sabato Jr., any conservative actors on a set in this tragedy happened, Alec Baldwin would be the first person leading the charge to dance on the grave and to throw dirt at conservatives and to do all of these things. I get that. I understand that. But here's the thing, conservatives. Just because leftists are awful and evil and horrible doesn't mean that we have to be too. I saw some stuff on Twitter that actually made me feel ashamed to, to be on the team for once because it really caused me to question where is our shared humanity? Where is our identity? Where um, is our mourning for the wife and mother that was killed? So when you're dancing on people's graves and when a wife and mother gets killed and you're doing that stuff and completely disregarding it just to score political points um, on a jerk like Alec Baldwin on Twitter, you may want to rethink some of your priorities. You may want to go look and find where exactly your humanity is. So let's not let this Alec Baldwin shooting make social media or the rest of us or anything else any more awful than it already is. This is a humanity gut check, folks, and the vast majority of conservatives I noticed failed.